I am going to show you how to configure RubyMine uh, with Calabash. So you could use the same thing for Calabash iOS and Calabash uh, Android. So the setup remains the same. Uh, there are very important, few important things from, you need to know before you start this. Um, you should have proper Ruby installation and you should know where your Ruby installation is present and you should know how to configure it. Uh, you should know your features directly. And those are basic things. So let's look at this. First, click on your feature file. Then you'll see these options. Go to run. Click on edit configurations. There are a few options which are like straightforward. You um, tax filter is uh, to say which tax you want to run using your uh, Calabash. So this is a cucumber option. Next thing is. Where, where next thing is a folder path where you have your features directory so my features directory is within this path and and then uh, another the most important thing is uh, which sdk to use and the cucumber gem so this one should match the command should match the ruby version you're using to find that type in which ruby into your command line and it will show you that uh, you're using rvm in my case i'm using rvm with the ruby 2.0 so i should uh, select the same thing from here click ok and then if we just run it i should run my desk also oh, it is quick if i want to if you want to debug to click on this feature file click run and debug So it didn't start debug because I had to install, do some installations. But once you do that, uh, it will go and stop at your breakout. So yeah, I can go inside this my step navigation and put a breakpoint. And when I run it with the debug option, it will go and stop here. So it will be very useful when you're trying to debug a code, and it's it's very difficult to find the the error sometimes. And at that point, it will be very handy. Um, Thank you very much for watching this video. Please do a like or comment and subscribe to my videos. Thank you.